Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you something really interesting that might be useful for people for data science or who works with data. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you if you have a massive CSV file, Excel file or a JSON, how do I essentially break those files into a smaller chunks? Which means if I have a 70 gig of, let's say 17 gigabytes of CSV file, how do I break into multiple smaller CSV files with 100 records of each, right? How do I do that chunking process, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing the code and the implementation. Let's get started. All righty, code is simple, uh, shouldn't take that long. I am using three libraries here, OS, Pandas, and UUID. The first thing that I did is I defined a file settings class that takes a file name and a row size, which means how many rows you wanna essentially have in your CSV file, okay? So after that, I made a class called file splitter. This takes the instance of this class, okay? And I'll show you how to use that. And essentially, you know, um, all I'm doing is behind the scenes using pandas. So I said pandas, uh, read the file. I said chunk size is equal to, you know, uh, whatever the row size the user passes, which means this is a generator object. When you provide chunk size, um, pandas usually gives you a generator object, which means the data is not read, which means you have to use the word yield or next. So generator uses the word yield. So you have to use the word next to iterate over the data efficiently. This a uh, lot of people uses generators. It's much more efficient than compared to normal return statements. Then I had a run method, essentially it takes a directory. Where do you want to dump your smaller chunk CSV file? So then what I did is take a look at it. So I said a while loop, I set up a counter. I said while true, try create a file name. So the way I created a file name is the directory slash. Then I said um, the file name, whatever the user passed the file name, the counter, that means that's the epoch. Then I pass the row size, okay? And then the UUID um, uh, is the, the name of the file. So I'm essentially for, uh, forming a format here. Uh, DF is equal to next. I use the word next in order to access the generator object, right? Then I passing the object self.df. Um, then I'm using the word to CSV and then I'm providing my file name and I'm incrementing the counter. So once I run this script, so no matter you have 70 gigabytes or 70 gigabytes, uh, you can easily, uh, you know, develop this further okay but so as you can see here i do not have any i do have some files and i want to delete that so show in explorer i'm first going to delete that and then going to show you the code okay so delete all right great so now i'm gonna i want to divide this csv into uh, uh with each file having 10 items in that i run my script uh and we can do threading and all that okay so but for now let's just um uh, okay, so now that's done. The code is complete. And if you go to the um, folder, we should see all the CSV files here. So as you can see, sample one was the original name of the file, uh, .csv underscore zero, right? Zero was the counter number. Row, underscore row is the, you know, row 10. That means there are 10 items inside that and followed by the GUID. So I think I should split that dot .csv. That doesn't look right. So uh, let's just do that. And other than that, I think we are good to go, man. So we use the word dot split. We want to split on the word dot and then we want to access the zeroth item. So again, we delete everything so we can test it out. Okay, that's done. And now I'm going to run my script again and then see if this works. So this is essentially used to chunk your uh, massive file into a smaller chunks. So uh, hopefully I'm going to do show in Explorer again at this point. And we should have a beautiful name, sample one underscore zero, row 10, and then you have a good sample one. That means, you know, that's the file name. That's the one iteration, the row 10. So you're following a nice approach, right? So hope this is a small, very small Python tutorial, but I'm pretty sure people working with data and massive data sets, will, this will definitely help, right? You you might want to essentially think about if you have a 80 gig or 50 gigabits of file on S3. Well, you want to chunk this file, right? You want to chunk it and maybe divide into smaller chunk pieces, right? You could use this, right? Uh, so hopefully this video would be useful. I would put the code in the paste bin so you can, you know, play with it. Or if you want to develop some application, use this part of code and then, you know, use your application code. All right, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope this tutorial will be useful for someone who's who had problems and were looking for essentially splitting files into smaller chunks. I, as, I essentially, you know, when I came to um, Google, uh, I, I saw people were asking that on the Stack Overflow. So, um, so for example, how to uh, how to split So 
So there were quite of questions on Stack Overflow as well. How do I can split my seven gigabytes of file into? Uh, so this will help you guys. Okay, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you do, if you do enjoy such small walkthrough videos, let me know in the comment section. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling. Keep programming. See you guys next time.